to the final push against ISIS in Syria. President Trump tweeting that the group is, quote, ready to fall. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, is on the ground in eastern Syria with the latest. Good morning, James. Good morning, Michael. ISIS spent years in control of huge parts of this region, but they've now lost nearly all of their territory. Clearing them from both Syria and Iraq has been a brutal process, but a win on the battlefield is only part of the fight against this terror group. This morning, the land ISIS once controlled in Syria is all but gone. What was an area about the size of Indiana is now down to about 7,500 square foot, far less than the average American supermarket. American and coalition forces here in a standoff with about a thousand jihadis who are holding their own people hostage, shooting those trying to flee. Victory will only be declared once the entire area has been cleared. We went to the front line to see what liberation looks like in Syria. This spot right on the banks of the Euphrates was the ISIS front line for more than a year. Entire areas flattened, buildings now just rubble, the same story in hundreds of villages across this region. And what will happen to the thousands of foreign extremists who flocked to join the Islamic State? One of them is 19-year-old Shamima Begum, a British schoolgirl who joined ISIS to marry a fighter four years ago. She's just given birth to her third child, claiming her first two died in the desert. I think a lot of people should have like sympathy towards me for everything I've been through. You know? Speaking from the camp where she's now stuck, she says she has no regrets but wants to come home. I didn't know what I was getting into when I left and I just hoping that maybe me, for the sake of me and my child, they let me come back. Because okay. I can't live in this camp forever. What to do with ISIS fighters and their wives has now become a major issue. Donald Trump is calling for US allies to repatriate their own nationals, but countries are reluctant to bring home possible security threats because often it's difficult to find the proof needed to try suspects in court. And what will become of the many children born in the so-called caliphate? Robin? Keep that in mind, James. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.